Let's talk about IRC. I'm a long-time IRC user, but I am painfully aware that many newer services have recently caused a drop in the amount of IRC communities. This can be attributed to many features that these services have, which we generally don't. For many of them, mind, workarounds do exist, but we can probably all name one which could never possibly be done on an unmodified IRC server, voice chat. The one feature exclusive to all those new, fancy, powerful social services that we just cannot possibly have, ever. Oh, now you can finally enjoy the wonderful voice chat right here on IRC without having to go anywhere else. Can you hear me well? I can hear you just fine. Whatever me. Excellent. You know, I think this is the absolute best way to communicate with other people. Do you agree? Finally. Um, okay, seriously. Doesn't this feel like a complete waste of time? I mean, well, at least you can get the feel of the, like, 90s or what was it? I, I don't know, I wasn't burned by then, but... Well, that's something. Alright, thank you. So, to keep this video short, Voice over IRC is a way of sending voice messages using the IRC protocol without any extensions like DCC. It uses a codec known as Codec 2, designed for low bandwidth digital radio, also known as very low bit rates, or just what we needed. Each message transfers around 2500 bits of data, which is slightly over 2 seconds of voice. This conveniently fits in the common IRC limit of 5 messages every 10 seconds, as well as the 512 byte limit for every message in both directions. This means you can use this on any existing IRC server. Well, before the operators kick you out, it is. The client allows you to send and receive voice messages, as well as continue using regular text messages. This way, we keep backwards compatibility, sort of. And that's VOIRC. Thank you for watching.